Kaplan. I'm living in London, but born in Germany, and I'm an artist. Um, well, actively, we would say about 20 years ago, but I was also quite, already quite uh, creative as a child, starting with drawings and you know, little things, and it developed to what I'm doing right now. I did my A-levels in art, and I started studying for quite a short period, fine arts, a long time ago, and um, the rest sort of, of knowledge I acquired myself. And since last year, I'm doing a master's in photography in central St. Martin's land. I would say everything which you register when you walk around, when you look, when you think, even in your sleep. Um, it's quite difficult. So it can be even something which is very subconscious and you only notice it later on that you've been inspired maybe by some person walking by or uh, by something abstract you've seen on the street or some objects. Uh, um, yeah. I do go to my studio every day, so I'm in the work environment. But it doesn't necessarily mean that I'm creative every day on a physical basis. Because I'm reading a lot and a lot of my work is based on you know, philosophers and books I'm reading. It's, it can be that I'm spending the day just you know, reading some theories which I'm interested in and then start creating a concept around those theories. and. Uh, making sketches and sketchbooks and little drawings and then the work develops slowly. It's, it can be quite a long process from the very beginning to the end. The, the work behind me is, I would say, just the, the beginning of some, something very new. Um, I, I started to do because I already developed further from what you see behind there. Um, in regards of abstracting things more and also uh, with a long-term aim to combine the photographic work with painting. So you have its kind of mixed media. But uh, as I said, it's, it's, a lot of it is still experimenting because every day I discover something new. I, I use different kind of cameras, I use digital cameras, I use very old medium format cameras and you know I work in the media in quite a wide range so it is very interesting because you always discover new aspects and ways of sort of doing or showing what you want to show through different methods and methodologies. Strange enough, I mean, I did the work independently from the exhibition, but the work is all about perception and reception. It was uh, part of my own project uh, I started a, few, a couple of months ago, um, going into psychology and especially Mr. Freud <laughs> about the theories about perception of an image and perception of abstraction and the connection between what you see, what you think and your unconscious. And out of that came that work and it's, it, it was really interesting for me. I'm playing a little bit with the perception again. Um, and sort of with the unconscious of the audience or the person looking at the work. And um, for me it's actually interesting to know what they think, how they, what they see. Some people, are, some people are a bit confused 
they do not maybe necessarily understand it straight away, but a lot of people I think they kind of get the message what it is about. I had quite a few shows in New York the last 10, 12 years. Um, I think the last one is about three years ago. But I still was quite excited to have one right now because it is the first time I'm showing photographic work. Previously I only showed uh, paintings and drawings. And because it's a completely new media, I was very excited to see it, to, to, to know what, how is it going to be perceived and, and received by the people. And quite happy so far with the reception of it.